And we've seen so many players break on it or, uh, before. And that's why it's a little bit risky. Also, there's some 200 BPM longer streams at the end of the map. If I could quickly interject, Australia for. And that is how they wrote it. Australia playing incredibly well then. Interestingly enough, though, um, Ribbon from Greece was actually getting the high score across most of the maps. Ooh, we're actually going to see a very early break from Neta here on this. And with this being um, a double time pick, I'm assuming that there's not a whole lot of room for mistake here if you want to make sure and take a victory on this. Well, there can be plenty of breaks at the 200 BPM uh, streaming section, and they've actually got Talalak coming in, which is uh, a well known player to be really fast. So he's definitely capable of the 1-6 burst and the team will be at the end of the map. Yeah, it does look like that early bit of combo there is going to give the Russian Federation a slight point advantage, but it is not by much at this moment. I mean, slowly but surely the hard part is gonna come in. Yeah, and Umberland actually dropping right before um, the hard part really set in there. Definitely going to hurt. Um, as you can see, South Korea is just managing to hold consistency over this section. And with that consistency, they are pulling ahead very far. And some then... accuracy drops because they won six pattern, uh, the burst, but all is fine. There's still going to be a, come up. Uh, there's still going to be a stream with some repeat sliders at the end, which is a little bit awkward to play. Yeah, we see Umberland finding himself another miss on that very awkward section, as he pointed out. Um, it does look like we're seeing very consistent play from South Korea here, as the Russian Federation giving them a run for their money. She would say Red Pixel and Tralala both all holding incredible combo here. It's just not going to be enough here, as South Korea is going to be able to take that third point. Indeed, unfortunately, two slider breaks by Anne Berlin. 